Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate techniques that you can use to apply formatting to make displaying large numbers in Excel easier for your audience to understand. Let me give an example. Well, the first technique I've used labeling. I've said the sales that I'm going to represent down here are actually sales in millions. So for example in January our sales were 45 million 942,000 plus some hundreds of dollars. So I simply stripped away three decimal points to make it easier for my audience to understand what the trend was and what the comparison is. Now let me give you another example. In this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhide three columns. So I'm going to right mouse click unhide and now notice that over here I have a link to the original cell over here in B5 but notice that now I'm saying sales in millions for January were 45.9 million versus a projection for 45.6 which is easier for your audience to understand to comprehend now I didn't use a complicated round function what I did is I applied a special custom format so let's see how this works right mouse click on the cell come down here into the format cells and notice that on the number tab in the custom category that I've applied a custom code in this case the custom code is zero which stands for a digital placeholder a decimal point one more digit after the decimal point and then a thousand separator so let's apply this over here to a brand new worksheet so over here I've just typed in some numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and I want to apply a custom code to this so right mouse click format cells number tab custom now I've not applied any custom codes these are the custom codes that come with Excel in a brand new worksheet so in this case what I want to do is I want to apply the zero for a digital placeholder I want to have one digit after the decimal point and then I want to uh, strip away thousands of dollars click OK and there you go now if I wanted I could come back and I could further strip this down so format cells and this time what I want to do is I want to modify this little code so here is what we have as the first result let's strip away another uh, or divide by a thousand dollars so you see the result you see how easy that is to uh, make the distinction between what's actually stored in Excel and what's displayed for your audience now I'm going to come back here to the original worksheet and if you are watching this I want you to pause the screen you might want to take a screen capture what I have over here is a raw number tens of millions of dollars nineteen million six hundred ninety nine thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars and I've used these formatting codes to produce this result so here's the data and here's the information that I wish to communicate to my audience now I could really strip it down if I want to show a macro a view of this rather than displaying eight characters I can say it's twenty million dollars so the character code or the coding that I used over here digital placeholder with the zero two thousand separators and then inside double quotation marks whatever text I want to use so in this case M stands for millions in this case K stands for thousands K equals kilo so I can apply any text that I want so take a screen capture of this page and then apply that if you're using formatting for millions of dollars or for thousands of dollars so over here zero which is the digital placeholder one decimal point one digit after the decimal point and a thousand separator now let's apply this to a chart over here I want to visually represent the sales that are going on so I'm going to select the data and I'm going to create the default uh, clustered column chart over here now notice the labels that I have I have several ways that I can change this label one way is to select the vertical axis over here and in Excel 2007 Excel 2010 chart tools 
layout and then come over here into the axis. For the primary vertical axis, what we can do is say, let's show this in thousands of dollars. Now, actually, this is millions. So you see, I wanted to strip away because I'd already used uh, one technique to strip it away. So it'd be easy for me to go through and then just change the text over here to make that millions. And now, there you go. Now let me use Control-Z to undo that, Control-Z to undo it, and let me show you another way that we can do this. Once again, I have the vertical axis selected, and this time come back to the axis, primary vertical axis, but this time we'll use more primary vertical axis options. What I want to do is select the number. Now, I already created the custom code in there. So the same code that we've been using earlier, I want to apply that code over there. And now you see how I've been able to use that effectively. Now, I might want to put in some other labels. I might want to come over here and actually create an axis title. So over here, Chart Tools, Layout for the axis titles for the primary vertical axis title, I might want to put in and then over here change this to be and click OK. So there are some techniques that I showed you to make the distinction between the accuracy of your data, the precision of the data, which you must have, but how to apply formatting techniques to communicate information that your audience can understand. And that's typical of the tips that I offer on my DVD, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.